Find out just how good barbecued steak can be on your Weber Premium Gas Barbecue. Perfectly cooked steak, full of flavour and that fantastic tender texture. A charred, flavour-filled crust with moist, melt-in-the-mouth tenderness, all with a beautiful smoky flavour you just can't get in a pan or an ordinary barbecue. You can easily create those moments on your Weber Gas Barbecue. So whether you're barbecuing for a crowd or just a few people, your Weber Barbecue is the perfect way to create memorable barbecue food. Today we're going to cook some porterhouse steaks with a simple yet delicious steak rub on the Genesis E310. To do this, we're going to be cooking using the direct method. Before you start cooking, there's a few important steps that you need to take. Firstly, like all Weber barbecues, it's important that you preheat your Genesis. Preheating is simple. All you need to do to light your barbecue is turn your gas bottle on, turn the left hand control knob to the start high position, then immediately press your igniter button, and repeat this to light the other two burners. When preheating for direct cooking, set all three main burners to high and preheat with the lid closed for 10 minutes. Here are our porterhouse steaks. We're going to create a simple steak rub to coat them in prior to cooking. To make the rub, you'll need two teaspoons of rice flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of dried basil, and a half a teaspoon of white pepper. Simply take all these ingredients Place them into a bowl and combine them thoroughly. And generously season the steaks with a spice rub on both sides. Cover and refrigerate for 30 minutes. This allows the flavours of the rub to really penetrate the steak. Now take the steaks out of the fridge about 20 minutes before cooking time to allow them to rest at room temperature. Just before cooking, Cover the steaks with a small amount of olive oil on both sides. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so now we're ready to cook. As we mentioned earlier, we're using the direct method. We want to create a high constant heat to ensure the steak gets a beautifully caramelized outer texture. Whenever you're cooking steak or other meat directly on the grill, it's a good idea to gently press down on them, using your tongs to ensure that the surface of the steak contacts fully with the hot grill. Then close the lid. Now these steaks look like they're about an inch thick, so they're going to take around four minutes per side to cook through to medium. After four minutes, open the lid and turn your steaks over. Then close the lid and cook them for another four minutes. The smell of these steaks cooking with that fragrant spice rub is just so good. And four minutes later, and we're done. To ensure you're getting the best possible flavor and texture with these steaks, make sure that you rest them for a few minutes under some foil. Resting time is over, now let's see how they've turned out. There you go, perfect medium, and you can see how juicy and tender the meat is with that sensational, flavoursome crust. 